this one, school boundaries, is this is a report that uh, was given to the Montgomery County Public Schools, uh, which suggests that in, in modest changes, or relatively modest changes compared to some that have been promised, that uh, diversity and easing of crowding can be done if the boundaries are rezoned by about 10% of students. Now, Cynthia, there's been a lot of hullabaloo in the past over school boundaries. Will these recommendations calm the Fuhrer? No, they will not because there is a residue of um, distrust in certain parts of the MCPS parent community. And there's just fear of change. Don't change anything anytime, anywhere for anybody when it's concerns school boundaries. Um, but there is a valid point to make for this study. Um, in order to save ta taxpayer dollars and to better distribute student populations um, uh, between adjacent schools where it makes sense and to make adjustments for um, increasing diversity. We are not talking about, this report is not talking about blowing up the school system. It's, it's talking about making minor changes for facility, for the good of facilities use and for what Montgomery County often touts is the value of diversity. Um, but it will continue to be controversial and it's now going to be up to the school board to take the information from the report and apply it. And that's what they will grapple with next year. Now, some of what is driving this whole review has been this overcrowding, obviously equity and, and so social distribution is one. So Phil, what about using some of the school choice tools to allow students in overcrowded schools to uh, pick alternatives? Well, Mark, thank you for uh, bringing this issue to discuss because one of the few things that I think is dumber than COVID-19 is the idea of school boundaries in the first place. If you have the opportunity, you have a child, you should have the opportunity to find what teachers, what program, what school is best for your child and send them there and not be constrained by arbitrary boundaries that are drawn for uh, overcrowding or equity or any of this, because what really matters is teaching our children and giving them the tools to be successful adults. They're, so I'm completely in favor of not making small adjustments, but yes, blowing up the entire system and imposing school choice so that parents have this opportunity. Every child is unique, everybody learns differently, and they should not be constrained simply because a few people a long time ago thought it would be a great idea to say thou shalt attend school here. Cynthia? Well, I still believe in the first man philosophy of free non-sectarian public schools. Public schools have given this nation um, the strongest and best educated populace on the face of the earth. Um, and that Montgomery County has a strong public school system that is touted for a reason. Um, I, school choice is, I don't know what to call it. Um, well, there are examples, let's say, in, across the border in the District of Columbia, close to uh, just about half the student population are in. Yes, the charter chose. Columbia, to, yes, and the District schools. of Columbia has charter schools, but it has not been illustrated or demonstrated that public charter schools produce any more um, well educated students than public schools. And the DC but, charter schools have been compared to its public schools for years. And there is no measurable distant difference in, for the most part. Cynthia, this doesn't make any sense at all. First of all, the very existence of the organization that you lead shows that outside input and that type of direction is beneficial to the educational process. So why should we tell parents that we are going to arbitrarily limit how they can educate their children, where they can go, and what they can do, simply because, again, a few people have decided that they are smarter and know best. Again, what we have done in the public schools, for the most part, is created a factory. And of course, the reason factories work 
is because you can build the same thing on assembly line. But we come to these factories with differences and nuances and the like that are always completely ignored. Therefore, every year we have a lot of discussion about why schools are failing, why things don't get any better, and it goes on ad nauseum. It's its own cottage industry. So let's stop that now and actually make things better. All right. Well, you've shown me a nation that where um, students, parents, where, where there is no public school system and everybody has so-called choice and they are on a, and that nation is on a par with the United States with a public school system across the nation, strong public school systems across the nation. So are what you're saying that the parents don't know what's best for their children? Parents do, and parents make the choice good, good, good. to send their children to choose. public school every day. Or let them choose to, let them choose we to wouldn't, decide what Or we wouldn't have an MCPS system. Let them choose to attend private schools if they want. Let them choose to attend charter schools if they and want. And they do. If the public school system is so good, then guess what? It'll continue to win out, and you shouldn't have anything to fear. And, and MCPS continues to win out. But well, yet, there are a substantial on other opportunities. Yeah, I mean, Cynthia, it, there are other school districts in Maryland. There are laws that permit uh, uh, alternative um, systems or a, a measure of choice that are in effect uh, uh, sponsored or uh, approved by the school systems to be able to to allow that. Uh, MCPS has avoided that. There have been a few exceptions, and then they pulled back on that. Uh, why not allow for more of that so that there can be some some opportunity for students to uh, choose alternatives other than uh, the strict MCPS curriculum. Well, students do make choices. MCPS does have choice. There, we have two um, consortiums in Montgomery County where students are able to choose their high school, and we have a consortium of middle schools where choose where parents and, and students are able to choose their middle schools. So we do have a version of choice. And those are schools where students can choose certain areas of concentration um, and electives in certain areas um, in their middle school and in their high schools that suit them and that they and their parents choose. So we do have some semblance um, in two different consortiums for high school and in one for middle school. So, so knowledge Phil, works. Phil, I'm, I'm assuming public the within the public school down. system, within the public school system. Right. Again, if some choice is good, why is more of it not better? Why do you want to be the arbiter of how much there is? Why do you want to set the guidelines when, again, we recognize every child is different, every parent is different, and they are the ones who have the best idea of their direction as opposed to you and the people who run the schools? Well, the people who run the schools and are the school board are MCPS parents. Every single member of the school board is a yeah. parent or a, a former MCPS educator. They're and, not the parents of my kids. Not that I have well, kids, but if I Well, you can, can well, run for school board. <laughs> run for school board. Well, I don't think we're going to be able to solve this uh, right now, but uh, uh, we'll take a break, a uh, short break right now, and uh, take up the topic of uh, building a fast train between DC and Baltimore, which would just take some 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. 